Hey everybody, it's Al the Hitman Sims from BlackOpsFishing.com. Today I'm showing you some of my dirt fishing finds. We don't have any actual dirt fishing or arrowheading movies and videos yet, but we're going to go over some of the finds. And these are some really nice drills I've found over the years. Uh, Indian drills. This is a whole one here. You can see the serrated edges they made. A lot of work went into these. This is a an older broken one here. This one here is a, a beauty. Real nice serrated edges. Let's see if you can get a better look at that. And a broken one here. That would have been a nice piece. And these smaller ones here are what they call a, a fingertip or thumbnail drill. See the how the tip is worked. Make the holes in the buckskins or whatever they made there's two of those and this one I believe was an arrowhead reworked that had broken so they reworked it and it would be used to make a, a round hole like maybe a pipe for smoking or something of that nature but you know when you find something like this you know it's a lot older than than a coin from the 1800s these things are, I have some pieces that are up to 14,000 years old uh, that I'll be showing you. Well, in the last couple weeks, we've been uh, finding some buttons. My son found 13. I've got 10 here. Some colonial buttons. This one has the shank. has writing around it. That was cool. Still need to be cleaned up a little bit. An old one missing the shank. Got a 1877 Indian head, little tiny button with a shank. This one here was kind of cool. It's got a like a pat, beaded pattern to it. A couple of snaps. This one doesn't have the entire shank. And this one here was I found on the internet. It's got a Bronco rider on it. It says called it a rough rider button I think on the internet these are just two old snaps with leather I found them in two different days in different places one of them looks like it has a star on it and I thought it was kinda cool well, I'll be back with some more hey these are my recent cellar hole finds in the last couple of weeks got this skate from 1884 this I don't know what it is, but tell me what it is when you, if somebody recognizes it. I got a weedy bent over a weedy. Broken lock. Beautiful croto bell. Sleigh bell. Got this, which is lead and iron in the middle. It's kind of cool. I kept it. This horseshoe, I've I only see one like this on the internet. It's kind of weird, kind of different. It's like a heart. Let me know if somebody knows why they made them like this. I imagine it's for ice or workhorse or something. Got a back to a makeup or a watch. Uh, got a knife blade. A couple oxen shoes. Another old horseshoe and some buckles. Here's a little arrowhead I just picked up yesterday, or the day before yesterday, when I was got uh, three or four of those buttons while I was metal detecting in a cornfield. It's got some nice work on the edges. See, that's cool. That's that's a couple thousand years old. But uh, here's four of my favorite points. I'm going to show you. Just look at the detail on this arrowhead. This one is 10,000 years old. That's 8,000 BC. And that was verified at the Pequot Museum. And it's made out of rhyolite, which is a volcanic material found around Boston. So right after the paleo indians or they they carried this material from boston to this area 
And uh, there's a beautiful quartz dovetail point I found. Really nice work. That's crazy. Little flint, black flint point. There's four of my favorites. And I'll show you some more later. Here's a little preview of my collection that I'll be showing you in part two. And uh, until next time, thanks for viewing and happy hunting.